Six cents. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is how much it costs you to buy one HBAR. HBAR is the native currency of the Hadara Hashgraph. Hadara Hashgraph is the futuristic DAG that is built for enterprise grade. But don't forget about you guys, the retail investor and the retail user. Hadara is one of those technologies that only comes around once in a long, long time. And Hadara is currently here for cryptocurrency. Hadara, in my personal opinion, is one of the fastest, cost-effective, environmentally friendly, and ridiculously scalable cryptocurrency that has a magnificent community behind them. Recently, there was some drama with Hadara Hashgraph. There were two things that should have actually collapsed Hadara Hashgraph, but it didn't collapse. It's currently trading at spot 3435 on coin market cap, and it's just as strong as ever in terms of comparing it to the different cryptocurrencies. And if Hadara Hashgraph did not collapse about these two things that I'm about to mention, man, that gotta give you a lot of confidence. Everybody thought Hadara Hashgraph is down and out, but they're not. Recently, Hadara released an extra 3 billion Hadara HBAR into the ecosystem. Now, this was a planned sell or a planned distribution, but still, they inflated the total circulating supply from around 26 billion to now 28 and a half, nearly 29 billion, something like that. They inflated the amount of HBAR in the ecosystem from just north of 25 billion to now over 28 billion. So in theory, right now, Hadara Hashgraph has much better tokenomics than it did just two weeks ago. Hadara Hashgraph took 6% of total maximum supply and put it into the circulating supply. They literally said maximum, put it into circulating. But the price of Hadara did not drop 6% plus whatever the rest of the crypto market dropped. It didn't. It literally ate it up and swallowed it. Also, there was an attack on an EVM, Ethereum Virtual Machine, smart contract vulnerability. Why am I saying EVM? Because Hadara Hashgraph uses the Ethereum Virtual Machine. This vulnerability was from Uniswap. And all the DEXs on Hadara Hashgraph use the same version of the smart contract for Uniswap V2, built for their own, but pretty much it's a carbon copy of Uniswap with a couple of you know changes. So there was a vulnerability, 600,000 in assets was taken, no users funds were taken, no users were hacked, and Hadara Hashgraph handled it with a boss, handled it like a boss. They shut down the IP. They shut down all IP communications. Hadara Hashgraph remained up. They fixed the problem in like 11 hours, if I'm not mistaken. They put the entire thing back up or they fixed it in a matter of 40 hours and they put it back up. A couple of days, relatively fast. And lo and behold, Hadara Hashgraph stays strong. Hadara Hashgraph has over 5 billion transactions. Hadara Hashgraph is still spitting out six, seven, eight hundred transactions per second. Let that sink in. Six, seven, eight hundred transactions per second. At one point, I saw that it was spitting out over 2,000 transactions per second. Look, not a single person left, not a single developer left, not a single investor left, not a single governing council member left. The price of Hadara stayed strong. We maintained that 30 plus cryptocurrency spot on coin market cap. We were like 32, 33, 34, 35, and we still remain 34, 35. You would think they would drop to 40. You would think they would drop to 50, but they didn't. They maintained the price. What does this tell you? This tells you that there is extreme, extreme conviction in Hadara Hashgraph from everybody. Laugh now, cry later. Do your own research. Do your own due diligence. It is vital that you research Hadara Hashgraph. Don't take my word for it. Don't take his word for it. Don't take her word for it. Take your own word for it. But I will promise you one thing. If you don't at least research this amazing product with a sub one second fee, sub four second finality, ridiculous scalability because the fee never changes, you will be sorry. If you don't at least do your research, you will be sorry. Right now you have an opportunity. The entire crypto market took a shit. Right now the Federal Reserve is dumping $2 trillion into the economy. 
in theory, quantitative tapering is over. Quantitative easing is back in. What does that mean? Hello, COVID era money in the economy. Maybe not to that extent, but for the last year, we were trying to get inflation under control. And now we're dumping a shit ton of money into the economy. Exactly why crypto was invented in 2008 is exactly what's happening right now. Now, if not, if everybody didn't bet against cryptocurrency, all the heavy hitters, the government, in a planned attack, what it seems like, crypto would have been going to the moon. But people can only take so much, so much of this collapsing, so much of these bailouts until crypto is going to pop its head out and say, hey, I'm here. I'm a better alternative. Not to mention, love it or hate it, CBDCs are coming. And Hadara has a lot of CBDC pilots that are currently being built in coordination with Hadara Hashgraph. Guys, Hadara Hashgraph is so nimble. It is literally like water. It just flows with it. It has so many use cases. ISO 222 messaging is being enacted within the next week. Although Hadara Hashgraph and no other blockchains or DLTs are inherently ISO 222 compliant because it's a messaging standard, you could build decentralized applications with ISO 222 needs on top of the Hadara Hashgraph. Why? Hadara Hashgraph is just so freaking fast. Any DLT that has this speed, scalability, fees, and security can have dApps with this ISO 222 compatibility messaging built on top of the Hadara Hashgraph. A lot of people don't even understand what this ISO 222 is. Everyone's like, to the moon, to the moon. Actual crypto is not inherently anything ISO 222. However, you, you could be ISO 222 fluent, which means that you can speak the language if somebody wants to build on top of you. Let's go over to my desk. I want to show you a couple of key statistics when it comes to the Hadara Hashgraph. Before we go any further, everyone's asking me, hey, Adam, how can we support the channel? Quite simply, I have channel membership, $3 a month. If you guys become a channel member, this is definitely going to help me out. And if you don't want to become a channel member, that's okay. That's on you. I love you all the same. But that is the way you can support me. And I have a link to my Discord down below, as well as my merchandise shop. If you want some really cool, one-of-a-kind, one-of-one, my personal design, Hadara Hashgraph merchandise. Let's go over to my desk. This is the transactions per second for Hadara Hashgraph, 1,366. 1,366 transactions per second. Forget 5 billion transactions. We currently have 5.4 billion transactions. 5.4 billion transactions. Let that freaking sink in. Ethereum is just barely next to that 2 billion mark. And they've been around for so much longer. And you might want to ask yourself, well, why are people using Hedera? Where are these transactions coming from? Because they actually have a use case. They actually have a use case. People are using Hadara Hashgraph for a reason. Remember, using a blockchain is not just sending cryptocurrency from point A to point B. Using a blockchain is not just making a cool smart contract. Using a blockchain or a DLT, a DAG in this case, is whatever use case is fit for your business. And as we like to call it, real life use cases. And Hadara Hashgraph has exactly that. Not the only thing, but one of the main things, Hadara Hashgraph has one of their governing council members, Avery Dennison, that's tracking tens of billions. That's plural tens, would it be, of products from point A to Z, from manufacturing, from distributing, from return, so on and so forth. Guys, the whole time that I was speaking to you, the transactions were no less than 500. Right now it hit 586 TPS, and pretty much the entire time this was running plus 1,000. TPS, 624 TPS. It's a freaking monster. This is the total value locked. If you go to the total value locked, this is right when this hack happened. We had around 44 million. All of a sudden, the total value lock dropped to 26 million because the Hadara Hashgraph community was warning everybody. The DeFi community was warning everybody. But look, we bounced back, right? We bounced back. Now we're back to 31 million. So we dropped, but we're coming back which means there's a lot of faith in Hadara Hashgraph. This coin market cap, Hadara Hashgraph currently 6 cents, up 1% for the hour, 
Neutral for 24 hours, up 8% for seven days. Current market cap, a measly 1.7 billion. Do you remember when Hadara Hashgraph had a market cap of just 1 billion? It's moving, guys. It's moving. And the volume is only 41 million. Just 41 million. Think about that. That's a tiny, tiny volume. Nair has a volume. Double that. 97 million. VeChain, 68 million. Hadara only has a 41 million volume. That's quite small. Circulating supply, just over 28 billion. If you liked Hadara a month ago, you better love it today. This is a really cool application. Market cap of. So you can compare Hadara and you can compare Cardano. If you want to take Hadara and compare it to Cardano, the price is 6x from where it is right now. 6x from where it is right now. That will put the Hadara H-bar at 40 cents an H-bar. 40 cents an H-bar. But that's if you're currently comparing Cardano for the price that it is right now. Cardano at one point had a market cap of like 90 billion. I believe if you actually compare it to BNB, 30x guys, 30x. Realistically, where I think the price can be in the next bull run. In the next bull run, I believe that the Hadara hash graphs price is going to be somewhere between 50 cents and $2. Somewhere in between. You can like what I'm saying, you could hate what I'm saying, and that's completely up to you. But if Hadara Hashgraph has a price of $1 in the next bull run, and maybe there is an inflationary rate putting us at $30 billion circulating supply, that puts us at a $30 billion market cap. Can Hadara Hashgraph hit a $30 billion market cap in the next bull run? Absolutely. So can it hit $1? I do believe so. Can it hit $2, which would put it at around a $60 billion market cap? Yeah, that would not be unheard of. That would put it in line with a Cardano or a BNB, not even at their peaks. Can it go to $3, which would put it at around a $90 billion market cap, which would essentially touch what BNB hit and touch what Cardano hit? Yes, it can, but that's going to be extremely difficult. However, anything is possible. Therefore, I am saying that my range is somewhere between 50 cents and $2 on the bearish and bullish side. Now, whatever I'm saying, take it with a grain of salt because I'm just a YouTuber, purely entertainment and education, and none of this is advice. The only advice that I could give you is keep it clean in between because hygiene is very important.